The Turgish, Turgish or Turgish were a Turkic tribal confederation that emerged from the ruins of the Western Turkic Khaganate. In time, the Turgish, themselves a branch of the Greater Tardush subdivision of the Onokh or Western Turks, managed to build up a considerable if short-lived Khaganate, attested by minting of Turgish coins. Presently, the ethnonym Turgish survived in the name of Seok Tirgesh among Altaians. Origins The Turgish were a group of Duolu tribes believed to have originated from the Turua tribe, who had appeared earlier on the banks of the Tuul River. Among them were the Chebishi, who were related to the Kibi tribe. The Kibi were dispersed shortly after the defeat of Chief Jelling. In the east, they were put under the rule of a Tadun named Ashina Herbo, who became known as the Chebi Kagan. According to the epigraphy of Kibi Song, a Tyler mercenary in Chinese service, the origin of the Kibi can be traced to the Kangai Mountains prior to their presence at the Bogda Mountains in the 6th century. They were related to the Diepa of Galka, who were situated east of the Fufuluo. In 610, Sheku subdued Tashkent, a vassal territory of Chuluo, and installed his Tijan. He also formed a political marriage with Samarkand and subdued its surrounding cities. In the following year, he defeated Shuluo and established his capital over the Khan Tengra. After his death, his younger brother Tongyab Gukahan took over. During his reign, the Western Khaganate reached its height of power, reaching to Sassanid Persia to the western Bagrim in the south. The capital was moved further west to the springs north of Tashkent to secure the area beyond. Tong attacked and occupied Tokaristan, and a royal personage from the Ashina clan was sent over to command the region. Shan Zhang, a contemporary pilgrim who visited the area, related how the Turks had overlorded the country. A later pilgrim, Haicho, commented that both the ruling elite and troops in the region were the Tuju, whereas the natives were the Hu. Most of the local kings who came under the rule of the Turks at this time were converted to Iltiba and supervised by the Tudun. According to Chinese sources, under Tong the Turks advanced into the Sassanid Empire and killed Khosrau II. His son ascended to the throne but died a year later, and the Turks killed Khosrau II's daughter. These accounts are highly exaggerated and fabricated by the Turks, since they were in alliance with the Eastern Roman Empire which was in war with Persia. Roman emperor who advanced to Persian capital, scared the Persian noble family and crown prince who murdered Persian king to ask for the peace. Turks only attacked the border towns in Caucasus region to open a new front while the main Persian armies were fighting Romans in Asia Minor. When one of the Persian armies moved toward Caucasus region, Turks withdrew in a hurry and drove back to their territory. Tong seems to have been known as the Jebuk Khan by the Armenian author Moses. In 621 he proposed a marriage alliance with the Chinese and planned an attack on the Eastern Khaganate in the next winter, but the plan was obstructed by Ilug. Another proposal was made in 625 when the Chinese state was under heavy attack. Due to his failure to expand eastwards, his reputation among the Duolu tribes diminished. Many tribes including the Kaluk defected to the Eastern Khaganate. In 630, he was murdered by his uncle Sipi, and for decades the Turks struggled among themselves for the throne. Foundation of the Turkish Khaganate The foundation of the Turkish Khaganate was precipitated by anti-Ashina Turkish rebellion. The counter-Ashina movement of Turkshis ended in 699 with the capture of Suyib. The founder of the first dynasty of the Turkish state before the intronization was a Tutuk of the Talas district in a town Balu, which name symbolizes some sacred relation to a divine or heavenly sphere. The first Turkish Kagan was called Uzlik. He was a leader of the Manichaean consortium Uzer, 100 men. In 706 his son Sakhal inherited him. Both first Kagans had a church rank of Uzlik. 
Their residence was in the city Suyib in the valley of the river Chu. Sakul younger brother Qianu dissented, but unable to take the throne in Suyib asked for military support from the eastern Turkic Kapagan Kagan, starting a cruel eastern Turkic campaign against Turches in 708 that ended with the death of Qianu. Turek rule was shaky at best, since the entire ONOQ quadrant teamed with rebellion. Despite defeating the rebels again in 714, the Gok Turks, Turku couldn't subdue them. Three years later the Kara Turgish elected Suluk as their Kagan. The new ruler moved his capital to Balazaun in the Chu Valley, receiving the homage of several chieftains formerly born to the service of Bilj Kagan of the Turkut. Suluk acted as a bulwark against further Umayyad encroachment from the south. The Arabs had indeed become a major player in recent times, though Islam hadn't made many converts in Central Asia at the time. Tang China In Chinese sources the Turgish name first appeared in 651, by that time they dwelt in Ili Valley, and disappears after 766. The Turgish Kaganate seems to have come into existence towards the end of the 7th century, after a massive revolt against the Western Turkic Khan, a Chinese puppet. The Turgish leader was Ashili, who titled himself Bargatakan and led a strong army to victory, putting the puppet Khan to full speed flight. His power soon spanned from present-day Jatisu area to Turpan and Kutcha. Ashili Kagan then decided to ally with Tan China and the Kirga people to stem the rise of the Second Gokturk Empire, ruled by Kapgan Kagan. Turgish and Gok Turks, Turkuts clashed in 698 in a battle fought at Bolchu where the latter side, led by Bilj Tonyukuk, prevailed. The Yabgu and Shad of the Turgish were killed and Ashili Kagan himself was taken prisoner and had to concede vassalage. Eight years after this burning defeat, Ashili died and was replaced by his son, Soko, who fought to retain independence from the Gok Turks, Turkuts. He was defeated in 701 in Transoxiana, southeast of Samarkand, again by Tonya Kuk, and finally in 711, when he was killed at Bolchu against Kul Tijan and Bilj Shad as he was trying to strike an alliance with Tang China. The Turgish were put under the rule of Barzbek, as we know from the Orkhon inscriptions in those years the main subdivision in Kara and Sari. Turgish was established. Maybe sensing the impending disaster, Soko's brother Chenu had revolted even before the battle and fled to the court of Kapagan Kagan, Umayyad Caliphate. Suluk's aim was to reconquer all of Transoxiana from the Arab invaders. His war was paralleled, much more westwards, by the Khazar Empire. In 721 Turgish forces, led by Kul Chor, defeated the Caliphal army commanded by Said ibn Abdul Aziz near Samarkand. Saeed's successor, al Qurashi, massacred Turks and Sogdian refugees in Kujand, causing an influx of refugees towards the Turkish. In 724 Caliph Hisham sent a new governor to Khorasan, Muslim ibn Said, with orders to crush the Turks once and for all, but... Confronted by Suluk in the so-called Day of Thirst, Muslim hardly managed to reach Samarkand with a handful of survivors. As the Turkish raided freely, a string of subsequent appointees of Hisham were soundly defeated by Suluk, who in 728 took Bikara and later on still inflicted painful defeats such as the Battle of the Defile upon the Arabs discrediting Umayyad rule and maybe putting the foundations for the Abbasid revolt. The Turgish state was at its apex of glory, controlling Sogdiana, the Fergana Valley it was only in 732. That two powerful Arab expeditions to Samarkand managed, if with heavy losses, to re-establish caliphal authority in the area, Suluk renounced his ambitions over Samarkand and abandoned Bukhara, withdrawing north. In 734 an early Abbasid follower, Al-Harith ibn Shuraj, 
rose in revolt against Umayyad rule and took Bork in Mald before defecting to the Turkish three years later, defeated. In winter 737 Suluk, along with his allies Al-Harith, Guruk and men from Yuz Roshana, Tashkent and Kuttal to launch a final offensive, he entered Jauzian but was defeated by the Umayyad governor Assad at the Battle of Karistan, decline in internecine strife. The defeat meant death for Suluk. As soon as he was back in Balazar Hun he was murdered at the hands of Bagar Tarkan Kul Chor, leader of the Sari Turgish. This, in turn, laid the foundations for the early demise of the Turgish Empire, who had so far challenged the might of the Caliphate. When Suluk was killed the Karan Sari Turgish began a civil war. Kul Chor of the Sari Turgish vanquished his rival Tumosh of the Kara Turgish and ascended to Kunship. In 739 he killed Hin of the Gok Torkashina clan, the legitimate puppet Kagan in Tang service. The Chinese reacted by supporting the rebellious Kara Turgish, which in 742 found in Iltutmish Kutlug build a new Kagan, later succeeded by Tengre Air Bomish in 753. This last ruler declared himself a vassal of Moyan Chor, the ruling Kagan of the recently born Orkhon Ukhar Empire. The Turgish civil war came to a sudden end only in 766, when annals record that the Karluks smashed the Turgish Khaganate. Their name simply disappears from history.